Come and get it, come and get it With Peter Russell Clark In the city or the outback He's Australia's brightest spark Come and get it, come and get it Good food you love to eat Come and get it, come and get it And there's people you can meet Cook a shark or make a damper Feed your ego, pack a hamper On a farm or out at sea Learn a recipe or three Come and get it with Peter Good Good Russell. G'day. G'day. When I was a boy, people belted beef into them by the bucket loads. They'd be chomping into legs of lamb, they'd be eating steaks that big, but not today. They're concerned about the fat issue. Wendy, what do they call it again? The pork board or something? The Australian Pork Corporation, <laughs> Pete. Sounds like pork pork chook board. Um, mate, it is true to say that, um, that pork has less fat saturation than lamb, for instance. Yes, it is, Pete, yes. That's true. And, Alan, you cut it all differently now, don't you? Well, when I first started, Peter, um, uh, the pork, pork was coming in smaller, a lot smaller and a lot fatter. They breed them differently these days, and they're a lot larger pig, but they're a lot leaner. And with the new season cuts, we can do so many more things with the pork. Right, so the fat's cut off, but it's also to do with the feeding, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Pete. Years ago, the pigs were raised on dairy farms and they were fed the milk slops and what have you, but nowadays they're all grain-fed, so you're getting nice, lean meat, no fat marbling in the meat right. at all. And you cut them differently. The, the meat's actually designed differently now, isn't it? Yes, that's right. That's new fashion cuts, Pete. It's all new fashion pork. Right, it's all right. We'll grab some, go back to the kitchen, uh, maybe. Give us a look at this over here, the schnitzels. Uh, schnitzels have been around for a long while, Alan. There's nothing new in that, surely. Oh, it has been around a long while, Peter. It's just the way we cut it differently these days. Yeah. And what about this other thing? That's a butterfly. Yeah, that's off the loin. Right, the loin give us a look at one of those. Yeah, that's off the loin of the pork. Why which... do you call it a butterfly? Well, there's a loin chop there. Right. Now, we cut it through, not right through, so we can open up and call it a butterfly. Terrific, mate. Wrap up some of those and I'll be off. Thank you, Dave. I find that very interesting, you know. When I was a boy, you just wouldn't touch pork because you ended up with indigestion. They even had funny jokes about if you had a hangover, not when I was a boy, of course, you had a hangover, you got served up greasy pork to make you feel squeezy. Well, you didn't get indigestion from the pork, you got it from the fat. So no fat, no more indigestion. So there's that steak, lean as you could get. And that's what we should be eating. Right, you can see where the bone's been cut out, which I think Alan has done in a very clever fashion. <laughs> Good on you, Alan. Now, mustard on that. I just spread the mustard over it. Not too thickly, but be reasonably generous. Right, oh. now that will go under the griller. We're not going to grill not gorilla. We're not going to pan fry that, it simply goes under the griller. Now, when it cooks, I'm not going to, or half cooks, you've cooked one side, I'm not going to turn it over like that because all that mustard will stick to the tray. What I'll simply do is fold the butterfly over. Just fold that butterfly over, cook that side, then turn it over like that and cook that side. So, off to the griller. While that's grilling, I'm going to mix a sauce that I want to go with it. Some yoghurt, just some plain natural yoghurt. Got my name on it, eh? Anyway, you just pop the yoghurt in there with some nutmeg. Mix that together, and with that, some stewed apple. I know you've stewed the apple. Simply get an apple, cut the peel off it. That peel goes into the soup. It just gives the soup a nice sweet flavour, and the core as well. I know that's just called stewed in a pot like that, very simple. Mix that together like, like that. Righto. Now I'm going to serve this whole deal because here it goes. There's the chop, perfectly cooked, onto a plate like that. I put the sauce with it and I'm serving the whole deal with some rice, some brown rice, simply steamed brown rice. That goes beside it with a steamed carrot or some, some steamed carrot and that. What that is is fresh coriander. Beautiful smell, beautiful smell. So there it is. Super pork, all cooked beautifully. <laughs> Super recipe because it's healthy. See you later. Come and get it with Peter. Good day. Russell. Good day. Clark.